Hello everybody, welcome back to All Media Services. Today we have a really fun video that we're going to be doing. As you can see, the scenery has changed a little bit here. We're out camping, but let's just take a look and see how we're camping. We've got a couple TVs on the go already that we're using here. We're kind of out in the middle of nature. Big and beautiful. So we're in beautiful BC, Canada. Uh, we're close to Sparwood. We've traveled around, we're, we're looking at the mountains. You can see that there's really no one else around us here. This is just a beautiful area. But one of the things that we love about our Starlink is now with the portability option, you can take this wherever you want to go. So here's our Starlink. Of course, this was an easy setup. We didn't have much trees around. We picked an open field and we set this down. We had internet within about I'm gonna say five minutes or so. But what I want to show you guys here is how we put this Starlink in this RV. So I've got a little surge arrestor here that you've seen in some of our previous videos. Here's our Starlink, and here's our other cable feeding to our router, which I'll go inside and I'll show you. But this is just gonna unhook from here. And I drop that down. And then we're Packing up our dish into the back here, take it down the road to our next spot. So we've got high speed internet, just go anywhere we want to go. I'm just going to take, I'm going to plug it back in, and I'm going to show you guys where we've installed the router. So if we come to the back of our RV here, I'm going to show you guys where this Starlink system that we put in. So one of the things about being in an RV is it's obviously it gets a little bit bouncy if you're traveling a lot down the road. So what we've done is we've actually taken a router and installed it down by our circuit breakers and stuff here. So here's our power pack put on Velcro. Here's our line that's feeding out to our router. Uh, or to our dish. So this is going to that surge arrestor that we showed you out there. And then here's our little router, just sitting right here. We got it all tied up, nice and, nice and tight, so it's not gonna be bouncing around. There is Velcro to try to soften it up from the, the jostling that goes down the road. But this is the router. He doesn't have anything to do other than just plug it in on the outside. And this just lights right up. And we've done this test a few times now. And we're gonna keep testing it out throughout the rest of this weekend. But so far, super slick. We're really enjoying it. So this is great, three TVs running. This is one of the great options that you have now with the Starlink system and your RV. As long as that Starlink can get good signal, and even if it's just mm, like mediocre, you still got a few trees, you're still gonna be able to do this streaming because the streaming does not necessarily require a huge amount of download to be continuously watching. So this has worked really great for us. Uh, three TVs in this little RV. So on those rainy campy days, you've got lots to wash. Mm -hmm. 